Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today I'm going to show you how to take your Android device and make it look and feel like a stock Android device. So you may or may not know this, but a lot of the Android manufacturers put some type of custom skin on top of Android in order to differentiate their devices from the rest of the Android world. These custom skins can sometimes add some functionality, but almost always come at some sort of a price. Besides the fact that some of their design choices make the device look like a toddler's educational toy, Samsung, they also hinder performance. They can slow down the device, kind of bog it down, even make it crash because this custom UI is running constantly on top of Android. Now, there are two ways to get around this. One, we could root the device and then flash a custom ROM, which is essentially putting our own stock operating system of Android on, uh, on the device instead of the one that the manufacturer put on, and that's all fine and dandy, but if you don't feel like rooting the device, you don't have to worry because this is Android, we can actually systematically replace each of the different functions in the Android device with a stock or a stock-esque version. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so essentially on your Android device, your home screen, all of this, and your app drawer here are all part of one app called a launcher. Now you can go onto the Play Store and actually find a whole bunch of different launchers that you can replace this with, but today we're going to actually use one to make it look stock. So, go to your Play Store. You're gonna search for Apex Launcher, spell like that. Tap install and wait for that to install. After it installs, you're going to hit the home button. Now what'll happen is it's going to ask you what you wanna to use to complete this action. So basically we're gonna say we want the Apex Launcher to do this now and always. Now you can go back and then get rid of this later, but if you wanna keep it this way, always click okay. And there you go. Now you'll notice we have a very stock looking home screen. And whenever we tap the home button, it brings us to our normal Android home screen. Okay, the next thing we're gonna replace is our lock screen. So we'll get rid of that. And then we're gonna go to the Play Store again. And now we're gonna search for Holo. Locker. And you'll see the free version at the top. Tap install. Once that installs now, if you ever lock the screen and unlock it, you'll be presented with this locker instead. Uh, you can swipe left to the camera, right to the unlock and up for Google, just like the old school stock. After that, let's get rid of the keyboard. So instead of using Samsung's little keyboard here on this device, we're going to find the stock one, which thankfully Google has actually provided in the Play Store. So we'll call it keyboard. Click install. Then pull this down, tap on it. All right, get started. Tap Enable in Settings. We're going to select it. Switch Input Methods. US English, Google Keyboard. And if you want to configure additional languages, you can, or just hit Finished. Now, when we go into a text message field, you'll see we have the stock keyboard, which has all that stock functionality. Next, we're going to replace the stock or this messaging application. So you can do this a, a couple of different ways. If you go into the Play Store and you search for SMS, you'll be presented with a bunch of the really popular ones like GoSMS, Handsend, and Chomp. Now you can use those and then go find a theme within them because they have options for that to make it look stock. Or you can head to our site and download this APK from a developer. Save that to your desktop. find it and transfer it to our Android device by plugging in the device and then just putting it on the internal storage. Then unplug the device, go into settings, go to more, security, or wherever this is in your device. It's always usually called security, but it might not be under more, it might be under somewhere else. 
and we're going to turn on unknown sources, which basically allows us to install our own APK files that we don't get from the market, like the one we just put on the phone. Then you're going to go to the Play Store and look for eStrong. File Explorer, uh, or any other file explorer that you feel like using, of course. Install, hit accept. Open it. And actually click on that APK. Hit next, hit next, hit install. Hit agree. Hit open. And now here you have the stock messaging app. Now the next thing you need to do is go into the old one and actually hit menu and settings and turn off notifications. This will stop you from getting two notifications, one from the old messaging app and one from the new one. And then finally, just replace wherever you have the old messaging app with the new one. Next thing to replace is the browser. So your device may come with a browser on it. Um, if it's a newer device, it probably doesn't. But if it did, then you're basically going to use what is now the stock Android browser, which happens to be Chrome. So go to the Play Store, search for Chrome, find it and install it. Now let's replace the calendar app. So let's go to the Play Store. Again, this is another one that's provided by Google now, as of recently. Type in Google Calendar. Tap that. Make sure it's by Google Inc. Hit install, accept. Wait for that to install and now you can just use this calendar. Uh, this also does come, I believe, with the widget for the calendar as well. So you can even use their widget. Next up, let's replace the camera that comes on your device with the stock one. So Play Store again, you can type in camera JB. Um, the one that I like the best is the camera gallery JB 4.3 is a good one for stock. Again, you can replace it with any camera you want, but again, we're going for stock here. So install, accept, wait for that. And you can open that up. This will show you the gallery, which is now the stock gallery instead of using the other one. Click camera free. Now you have the stock camera app. Also, it's smart to probably remove the existing camera app, find the camera free, and just replace that. So now whenever you touch that, it'll take you to your camera app. Okay, let's take this even further and let's replace the, the calculator. So we go to the Play Store, you're gonna search for Cyanogen Mod Calculator, and you'll find a free one here. If you do feel like you can use the other one to just donate to CyanogenMod for making this, but click install, hit accept. Now you have the stock calculator. The clock is next. Let's go to the Play Store, search for clock JB. Now there is a free version and a paid version. The difference is the paid version allows you to set alarms um, and it's 99 cents. So let's just show you the free version for now. Uh, of course you can always download other clocks but this is the one that is very stock-esque. So not only does this give you the clock app from stock Android, it also gives you the widget. Okay, last but not least in this tutorial, uh, we're gonna show you how to change the wallpaper. Go into the Play Store. 
search for Nexus for wallpapers. Now you can kind of scroll through these if you want. Um, this one's not so bad here. I believe this one actually has a collection. So let's do that. Install, download, hold down on the back, wallpapers, click Nexus 4 wallpapers. And now you have a selection of all of the stock wallpapers from the Nexus 4. And there you are. Now your device is pretty stock looking, pretty stock-esque. Um, of course, you can replace any of these features with other ones to customize your Android device. And uh, enjoy. So I know that was pretty extensive, but if there are any ones that I miss, which I'm sure there are, feel free to write about them in the comments underneath this video on our site. You can also follow us on Twitter at The Unlocker, um, follow us on Facebook or on Google+.